Hello dear drumming community. My name is Timo. I heartily welcome you to my second part of my tutorial series, Jazz Comping the Basics, with a lot of variation material for the first part. Here we go. In my first part on comping, I logically looked at the basics. I hope you got through it well and to your satisfaction. In this video, we'll take the 15 exercises from the first part as a basis and twist, swirl and modify them in 9 interpretations. Are you ready? Then let's go. In the first interpretation, all 15 exercises are supplemented with a bass drum played in 4 or so called walking bass. If you don't know exactly what this means, please watch my video, link above in the info card or in the description of this video. The bass drum now plays soft quarter notes on the beats 1, 2, 3, 4. The emphasis here is on soft. We are feathering the bass drum. I will only play exercise number 9 as an example and for all further concepts to come. So let's hear exercise number 9 with a walking bass. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Another variation is to play the bass drum not in 4 but in 2. Here the bass drum is played quietly in half notes on beats 1 and 3. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins, zwei. Now we turn the tables, we reinterpret the notated notes on our snare drum position and then play them with a bass drum on the corresponding notated beat. The snare drum pauses. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins.
in the following interpretation of the exercise, everything remains basically the same as in the previous exercise, but we add a rim click blade on beat 4 to the bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, the notated snare drum notes become snare drum beats again, but the bass drum should also be given something to do again. The bass drum should be kicked at the quarter note positions where the snare drum is not hit. In exercise 9, which I'm about to play, it's the beats 1 and 4. In exercise 10, for example, it's the beats 1 and 3. In exercise 15, it's the beats 1, 2, 3. In exercise 1, the bass drum does not appear because the snare drum is played on all four beats. Here is an example of exercise 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Now we turn the whole thing around and swap the snare drum with the bass drum. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. If you thought that was it, not quite yet. To make the exercise a little more musical and to practice musical forms, I recommend playing only the swing pattern for one bar, followed by one bar of the 15 exercises, which should, of course, be repeated several times. If you are confident, you could play all 15 exercises in succession using this system. The exciting thing is that you can use this variation with all six previous interpretations. As an example, I take interpretation one, for example, the variant with the bass drum in four. Here you have to make sure that the bass drum is also played in the bar without comping, for example, the inserted bar with the swing pattern. And the same applies to the playing style for interpretation two, for example, bass drum into an interpretation four with rim click on beat four. In interpretation 3, 5 and 6, the inserted bar is only played with a swing pattern, for example without any additional accompaniment. The following is an example of interpretation 1, exercise 9 with an inserted bar with swing pattern. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, eins. If you still haven't had enough, 
simply create two bar exercises from the one bar exercise by playing two different bars directly one after the other. For example, exercise 3 and exercise 11. But any other combination is also possible and conceivable. In an ideal world, you would combine all the bars together. This is time consuming, but it's worth it. To top it off, you can also use all six interpretations in addition to the basic version. For demonstration purposes, I combine exercise 3 and 11 with interpretation variant 5, in which the bass drum is to be played at the quarter note positions where the snare drum is not hit. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Last but not least, I take interpretation 7 as a model in which you should only play the string pattern for one bar followed by one bar of the 15 exercises and transfer the system to interpretation 8 in which we have built two bar phrases. We therefore play only the swing pattern for two bars and then two different bars from the 15 exercises in immediate succession. This creates a four bar phrase. Don't forget to use the first six interpretations here too. In my example, I play exercise 3 and 11 again, but this time with interpretation variant 4. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins, zwei, drei. That was a lot to take in. Take a deep breath. Please be patient. Take on all the variations bit by bit. Don't rush. Once you've gone through all this, you'll definitely be ready for further comping adventures. If you have any questions or would like more information, comment below this video. You can also reach me on social media or email me at timo at deinschlagzeuglehrer.de. All contacts can also be found in the description of this video. I'm always happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Happy comping. Take care. Your Timo. Ciao.